Welcome to Pixel Sorter, V3. In this demo, we will cover the basic usage of the effect, focusing on the new features introduced in this version. The main setting you will want to play with is the threshold. It defines the selection of pixels that are going to be sorted by the effect. If you were familiar with V2, you will notice that we now have two threshold sliders instead of one. If you wish to use the effect like before, just take care of the second threshold, leaving the first one at zero. Changing the threshold max value, the second one, will select gradually all of the pixels from the image, based on their luma value. Now by changing the first threshold, the threshold min value, we can limit how many pixels will be sorted by subtracting from the selection. By animating those two parameters together, starting both at 0 and ending at 1, with a little bit of lag on the first one, you can achieve a cool transition animation where all of the pixels in the image get sorted at some point. Note that we can also make our selection inside or outside those two threshold values. One of the new features is the constraint. Here's how it works. Draw a mask over the region you want the effect to be applied to. Change the mask setting to none, so it does not crop our layer. Select that mask as the constraint. The pixels constrained in this region will be sorted, but they will be allowed to spill over the rest of the image. Here's another new feature, the stretch mode. With this activated, the original image will be stretched out along with the sorted pixels. You can define how much stretch you want, and of course, animate this. You will also see a new section called, Look. You might recognize older parameters in there, but there are new ones as well, like the, Pop, slider. Increasing the pop value will boost contrast and saturation on the sorted pixels, making them more visible. In this section, you can decrease the resolution of the sorted image. You can now also choose if the original image is affected or not by this lower resolution look. In the strips section, you will find settings that modify the length or position of individual lines. The cycle setting will reposition the starting point of each sorted streaks, and it can be looped for cool animations. You will find a new setting called anim growth. You can decrease it to 0% and increase it all the way up to 200% to make the pixels transition over your image. Lastly, there is a new noise section. With these parameters, you can easily add complexity to the original image. When you work with very smooth backgrounds, this can be useful for adding more random patterns in the sorting effect. You can play with the amount of noise and its scale until you are satisfied. This also makes it easier to work with text layers. For more tutorials, examples, and specific use cases, visit pixelsorter.studio.